Hello, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Present series. Uh, it's been quite a while since I've done an update to a Let's Present series, but you will realize there are a couple of changes since. One is that the quality is much better. I am actually using, instead of my webcam, I am using Pinnacle Studio Capture system. As you can see, with the quality, it's almost like night from day. And right now it is uh, daytime. It's the middle of the day. And I'm on Medieval Neil Villa in the town of Yorkshire. Well, as you can see, quality is so much better now. And as a result, we get to go around again and see the sights. Or should we? I know you, if you really want to see the sights though, you would have to uh, see the other videos. But I will show you the rule board. No yuck talk. Ask where to build. Brand new personnel are to explore first. And of course the big one was roof textures on residential houses. Had to be the same in the given area. Anyway, as you can see here, we're at the clock tower slash apartment complex. We've seen that already. We've also seen the town hall in the other world, uh, in the other video that is. Of course, there is other town halls on the world. Can't recall if there were these guys, though. Were there? And if there were, then it might have been the beginning of those guys. But they're there, and that's because we don't have any of these called horses, ponies, and other like Clydesdale, or a dark type of Clydesdale. Some with unique colors in their hairs, because <laughs> you don't normally see a red haired looking uh, animal, especially a horse. So I'm just kind of RPing the mode and don't have the little HUD on the bottom because, you know, it sh then you can see the rest of the world. There has been some changes. I'll eventually get to that. I'm just exploring around, showing you areas that uh, you might have seen, you might not have on the other videos. It's a quick overview from ground level. And boy, I am happy that the quality is now where it ought to be. Now it's not HD, but it's much better than a webcam. And I can explore at night, whereas I couldn't before because the frames dropped significantly. Oh, here's one of the horses. This area is on the border of undevelopment. You can see right there, there's a, there's a place, I'm going through the tunnel, in my friend's places. If you were to spawn in this world, this is where you would spawn. This is your location. Your new experience in this world begins right here. And these are temporary housings for you as you start in this world. Try to make them as medieval as could be. I might not have shown you this in this texture pack. This is the fantasy texture pack. Anyways, we're gonna head up this way because more of the development happened on the other side of this town since you've last seen it. I focus more on the shorelines. Uh, I've also focused a lot on landscaping and realistic looking paths such as this. Always room for improvement. Oh, we gotta check the cathedral because now it's an awesome view. Got this off an inspiration. 
I might even show you the picture of what I was inspired to do this building like. That I have the web picture still, I believe, so I'll upload that if I have it. It's still on my computer. It'll be an immediate upload, otherwise it might be later on. It's Yorkshire Community Cathedral. Jesus saves. Jesus saves. And he does. He's the only sacrifice that can pay for our, our sins. Anyways, continuing right along. Of course, that shouldn't stop just in the church. That should go throughout the community. I believe this is one of the last structures I showed on the map. This being the jousting location. Jousting and Archer Arena. Made this path very messy. Purposely, because it's always used. It should be always used. It is a place of entertainment. Yeah, one of those simple builds. Place to park your horses, so you'd have to go through to, in the back to tie up your horses. I know you say, park the horses. Man, you're living too much in the 20th and 21st centuries. Well, I cannot be just living in those centuries. We have to make this like it was 1890s, which is around about the time that I put this period of medieval world in. I didn't want it to be in the turn of the 20th century yet. So, 1890s. Because uh, in the graveyard location, there is such... I think the latest would have been 1890s. Oh, yeah! This is a friend's building. He actually built this. I don't think you've seen it, but there it is. I'm not going to go inside and show you it all, but I'm just showing you the outside. It's the last plot of property that hasn't been uh, built on, and now is. So if you look around, he kept with the idea of using the right kind of roofing. And the reason why I say he is because it was all long enough ago that I don't remember who it was. <laughs> But he's got a pretty good sized porch there. Anyway. Well, now this is part of it. A tree, you ask. What is so significant about these trees? Well, these trees' significance are more than you think. They add to your world. They add to the value of your lands. I have a couple here and there. Much different than what it used to be. Like this one here. I don't know if that was here before. Added it in. And you're like, oh, this is a nice little winding gravel path. Yes, it is. So we're going to head up here. You can see more trees there. Unique style trees. Some of them are unique because it's more like woodsy. It's not meant to be upkept by any means. Yep. And they have to be the right scale to the build. If they're not the right scale to the build, so that's a nostalgia moment. And there's always, oh, how many times do I see it? There's always animals up here. Okay, that looks much better, right? Yes, it does. Alright, heading back down here. It's nightfall. We're just gonna roam the city at night. Oh yeah, let me turn this off. Believe it or not, it's actually hard to aim without the cursor.
Oh, it looks like there's a party in there. Party going on. <laughs> you gotta love the way they look. Stable. Okay, we've been down that way. I actually thought there was a piece of road missing, but it isn't. Now, this is what I want to show you, and it's at night, so it can actually stay the way it is. I want to show you these trees. I added many more trees to this area, starting in this portion. And what I mean many more, we're talking, I probably spent... Uh, maybe five hours worth doing this? Five hours, can you imagine? It's a long time. Some, you have to keep right in between the buildings, so they're actually very skinny tall type. The kind you would see maybe in the northwest. And as we head over the bridge, see the ambience of the night? That's the nice part. As I know, some of you guys will never come on the Xbox 360 never be able to see this world otherwise so it's nice to give some moments of triumphs with all these trees with all this landscaping the way the paths look beautiful little ponies and horses around here the lamp posts some of this stuff was probably not here before I don't know never know and we got a carriage there. But if you are on the PC version and you definitely love it above the Xbox, I don't blame you. As long as you, I guess as long as you're used to it, I wouldn't I'd probably be on the same thing too if my PC could handle it. And Minecraft takes a lot of memory to handle far distance, far render distances. So the console's always better. And of course, I have a much better time with the controls on the Xbox. So as we head down here, we notice it is winter. It is winter around here. It was last time as well. Nothing has changed. There's the barn entrance. Still got animals in here? Oh yeah. Still have animals. Those almost look like cacti, but they aren't. They aren't cacti, they're just melons for the feedings. One needs to feed the animals, or else it's called abuse, and abuse is not to be tolerated. We're not to tolerate any such ordeals. But a little country road winding through. It does stop right here. My plan is in the future to have this run its course out north. Uh, let's get a map out. Because maps are important, you know. It'll give you an idea of where I'm at on the map. As you can see, I'm right there. And to the north and a little to the east is where the next town is going to be placed. Rio Bath is possibly a good name because I'm looking for English names and there is a Rio Bath in England. Because we already got a shear on the end called Yorkshire. Rio Bath is uh, where one of my, the missionaries we support, uh, where he's stationed at. So, probably gonna use that. It's a good reminder of the goodness of spreading the gospel. <laughs> 